We've been asked to find a Maclaurin series for cosine of 5x squared, but more specifically, we've been asked to use a substitution to do it. Well, if we weren't asked about a substitution, I guess one option would be to take a bunch of derivatives and start like thinking about a Maclaurin series as, you know, a list of derivatives evaluated at the center, which is zero, and then we find the coefficients by dividing by k factorial. And I can think about taking this derivative and having all of my chain rule things come out and then a bunch of product rules on the way down. And so I think even if it didn't tell me to use a substitution, just thinking about those derivatives, I would want to use a substitution anyway. So let's recall our Maclaurin series for cosine of x. It's always a good exercise to make ourselves generate this one, but we've seen this one a lot and we know it. So we have minus one to the k to make it alternate then x raised to the 2k all over 2 times k factorial. And if we list out the first few terms of our Maclaurin series for cosine, we get 1 minus, and now k is equal to 1, x squared over 2 factorial. And then it would be plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial. And hopefully we've seen this enough now to where it's familiar and we could write it down whenever anyone asked. All right, well, way back when we were just talking about power series, we had a theorem that said if we took a power series, which this Maclaurin series is, and replaced x on both sides with the continuous function, we still had a power series that still converged in the, in the same places. And I, I say air quotes on that, because if we had a power series that converged between, say, I don't know, b and minus b, and we replace with a continuous function, then we replace x with that continuous function, and our power series still converges on that interval if we get x by itself. Well, one of the nice things here is cosine converges absolutely for all real numbers. So when we replace x with 5x squared, our new series will also converge absolutely for all real numbers. So here we go. And I just replace x with 5x squared. Now, I don't want to leave it written like this. I guess right now, technically, I'm done, but I want to think about what this actually says. So I have minus 1 to the k, and I will be dividing by 2k factorial. But let's see, here I would have 5 raised to the 2k. Well, that would be 5 squared raised to the k, so 25 to the k. And then x squared raised to the 2k, I'm going to write as an x raised to the 4k. All right, we can write out a few terms, either by thinking about what happens as I plug values in for k, or looking up here and replacing the x's with 5x squared. So I have 1 minus 25x to the fourth over 2 factorial. Plus, let's just do one more. Let's see, that's going to be 625x to the fourth over 4 factorial. And then we have the same alternating pattern going down. And there we have it. We have found a Maclaurin series for cosine of 5x squared by using a substitution of a Maclaurin series, a substitution in a Maclaurin series that we already knew.